Good morning and welcome to the Mount Annan Botanic Gardens here in southwest Sydney. And it's a rather chilly morning, which I believe makes it a great time to visit these particular gardens, or in fact any part of the landscape within the city basin. And in our last clips, we looked at some of the landforms of the city basin, uh, some of the geological groups like the Wanamata Shales and the Hawkesbury Sandstone. And then in our last clip, I mentioned that we'll start to look at the vegetation. We'll start to look at how to identify some of the different native plants that we actually find in the Sydney Basin. And this morning, what I'd like to introduce you to is the gum tree group. And there are three main types of trees. One is the, the eucalypts, another is what we call the corinthias, which are the bloodwoods and the spotted gums, and then another one is the angophoras. And so collectively, those three groups make up this larger group that we call gum trees. So we're going to find out why they're called gum trees. We're also going to find out how we can tell the difference between those three. And then within each group, how we can tell individual species. Gum trees are found throughout the Sydney Basin and so provide us with a great opportunity to develop our observational skills as we learn to identify different types of native plants. Gum trees can be found in parklands, picnic areas, within our urban streets. Gum trees have been the source of inspiration for many a poem, verse, song and movie. They often provide part of the landscape within those photos we take from lookouts and other scenic areas. And of course, gum trees allow us those opportunities to just hang around. The first feature we'll be focusing on to help us identify gum trees is their bark and in particular the bark that is on the trunk of the tree which can be either smooth, rough or a mix of smooth and rough. As the tree grows it makes new bark which not only increases the width of what we call the girth of the tree it also causes the outer layer of bark to die off and those gum trees in which this outer layer falls off and have a smooth bark are called the smooth bark gum trees. This happens each year and often leads to a brilliant display of colours. And those group of gum trees who keep this dead outer layer of bark are called the rough barked. And this rough bark might be quite tough, deeply furrowed, fibrous, soft, spongy, or even scale and tessellated like. And there are those trees who have a mix of both smooth and rough bark on their trunks. The majority of these have what we call a stocking of rough bark around their base like the Sydney blue gum in this photo. As we end this clip, what I encourage you to do is go out, have a look at some of the bark that you'll see in the gum trees around your local area, or maybe regional area if you're going out for a bushwalk in some of the national parks, or even just touring and visiting different sites within the Sydney basin. And to finish this clip, what I'll be doing is introducing you to some of those gum trees in which have such a characteristic and distinguishing bark that once you know the bark, you pretty much know what tree it is. Look forward to seeing you in our next clip.